guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the NECA, the Thing, Ultimate McCready Last Stand action figure. Uh, depicting one of the final scenes, John Carpenter's The Thing from 1982, starring Kurt Russell. Uh, this figure was released in 2023, and uh, yeah, absolutely love this figure. They have released uh, two other versions of McCready previous to this. Uh, I have reviewed both of those on the channel, so I will leave a link in the description so you can check out those reviews if you haven't already. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get a quick look around the box, get them opened up, and get a better look at the figure. So for starters, guys, I uh, have to say love the artwork that they did for this release. Really, really cool. You can see the creature in the background, or the thing in the background. Uh, the thing logo, Ultimate McCready Last Stand. Yep. As for the other side, have a photo shot of the figure, the thing, Ultimate McCready Last Stand, NECA Real Toys. On the back, we got some more photo shots of the figure, the thing logo, and then another photo shot of the figure on the side, the thing, NECA Real Toys. Full photo shot of the figure there and there's the figure in all its glory guys and it has a ton of cool accessories so yeah with that let's go ahead and uh, get them opened up and uh, get a better look at the figure all right guys so let's go ahead and get right to it uh so for starters i have to say the detail on this guy is absolutely incredible i don't know if the camera picks it up well enough but i mean NECA did a great job with the uh dynamite here and dynamite here, you can see the uh, little uh, fuses right here. Uh, they're a bit of a soft plastic, but they feel pretty solid. Uh, I love the detail on this guy so far. The pockets, everything, they did a really good job on this figure, I'd say. Uh, they give it a little bit of a, like a weathered, you know, like a frost. Uh, again, I don't know if the camera picks it up well enough, but I mean, it gives it a little bit. NECA did it like a little bit of a frost uh, wash on, on, this, on this figure. You can see the tips there, uh, even in the beard. I mean, just all around, man. The NECA did a great job on this figure with the detailing and everything. Uh, but with that, let's go ahead and get into the head articulation. Head does rotate all the way around. It is kind of difficult because of the hood that he wears, but can still look all the way around. Uh, I will say the head sculpt looks pretty nice. I think NECA did a, I mean, they've done a good job with, uh, with the likeness for sure. Uh, head does look, down okay doesn't look up all too well i mean it looks up okay but not as much because of uh, the mold of the uh, collar on the jacket and stuff like that uh, as for the head tilt does have a decent head tilt side to side not too bad and uh, as for the arm arm does come up almost 90 degrees but unlikely because of the shoulder mold does rotate all the way around does have a single joint in the elbow uh, it does seem that like there is rotation in the elbow but it's a little stiff so i'm not going to force it guys there is rotation in the wrist a little bit of back and forth on the wrist not too much as for the other arm same thing does come up almost 90 degrees does rotate all the way around now i will say in rotating the arms the uh dynamite and the pockets here on the side do kind of hinder some of the movement so i would say be very careful with that when you're rotating the arms or posing the arms again single joint in the elbow elbow does have there is some rotation but again stiff straight out of the box guys so uh, i would definitely use uh, some hot water or a hair dryer to if you want to move that around uh also rotation in the wrist and wrist has some back and forth as well pretty good a lot smoother than this hand it seems like uh as for the torso there is some torso rotation it seems like the torso can rotate all the way around so uh i'm not gonna force it guys just because uh, like i said the pocket seem to kind of hinder some of the movement uh so i'm not gonna We'll get into that as soon as we get to some of the accessories, but uh, does do a crunch fairly okay. Doesn't bend back all too much just because of the, the way the jacket's molded and stuff like that. As for the leg articulation, leg does come up pretty well. Does go back fairly well, not too bad. Single joint in the knee. Seems to be some upper rotation in the knee or upper rotation in the thigh 
Uh, can't really tell if there's rotation in the knee. Not going to force it. No rotation in the ankle. Ankle does bend back and forth pretty well. A uh, little bit of an ankle rocker, not too much. Seems like he can't really do the splits. More than likely because of the way the pants are molded. Foot does come up. Okay. Does go back. Okay, not too bad. Uh, there is a holster here, so I would be careful with this. Single joint in the knee. There is some rotation at the upper thigh. Yeah, so this knee, you can see there is some rotation, but again, it is still kind of stiff, guys, so I would be careful with that when trying to do that. Again, no rotation in the ankle or anything like that. And foot does go back and front pretty, pretty well. A little bit of an ankle rocker there. Uh, other than that, guys, I mean, I have to say this guy looks really, really incredible. Uh, I really dig the details in all the jacket and pants, everything. Like I said, mentioned before, he has that frosted, like, uh, wash over parts of like the jacket and stuff like that all over his body. So let's go ahead and get him off to the side and uh, get a better look at his accessories. As for his accessories guys, he does come with four sets of hands and uh, two of them are more gestured, sort of gripping hands. As you can see, uh, Neka did a great job of the uh, the veins there. I really, really dig, uh, I really dig their accessories on this guys. The other two hands he comes with guys are two gripping hands. And uh, one is a gloved hand, and one is an ungloved hand. And I have to say, uh, I'm glad that NECA included these, as uh, he does come with quite a bit of accessories. So, I mean, uh, yeah, NECA got you covered for sure with this guy. I like the detail in the glove, as I've mentioned before in the previous releases. I think NECA did a bang-up job of it. Up next, guys, he does come with a bottle. It looks like just like an empty, you know, glass bottle, uh, more than likely for the Molotovs that he uses at the end of the film or that he makes at the end of the film. And uh, yeah, there's nothing in this one. So, but yeah, I really like the detail on this. The green looks really nice. The translucent green uh, really looks like, it really looks like one of those old glass bottles. It looks really cool. To go along with that green bottle, guys, NECA did include another bottle that already has like the cloth in it where it's already prepared for the Molotov. Uh, this does come with four, so that's why I'm only gonna show you one just because they're all pretty much the same. Uh, you can see the red there. I don't know if the camera picks it up well enough and you can see the cloth there. I would say be very careful with this because it feels very, very flimsy as you can see. So be very careful with that. Also, the other thing that's pretty cool about this figure is that uh, he also here on his jacket, you can actually holster the molotovs on the jacket here or on the belt rather so i thought that was pretty cool i like that NECA included that so very very nice so next guys he does come with a lantern and i really like the colors on this and the detail on this NECA did a great job on this guy for sure i love the coloring there uh the wear uh it does i would say be very careful with the handle it does seem pretty flimsy and uh but very solid overall though i think i think NECA did a great job with the coloring and the wash on this. Up next guys, NECA did include another type of Molotov and uh, I have to say very very nice, very very nice detail on this. It's a different color of bottle and shape of bottle which is really cool uh, and then you can see the cloth there so very very nice. Uh, again I think this one also holsters into the holsters right there into the belt i don't know if the camera picks it up well enough but it should just slide in right there but as i mentioned earlier i would be very careful when trying to rotate the arms because as you can see there is some movement that is hindered there but overall i think that's actually pretty cool that it's a functioning pockets that you can actually put some of the accessories in really really nice up next guys he does come with a revolver and uh, I do like the level of detail on this. If you can see the little rivets there, the uh, wood grain on the handle. I love the detail in the pistol itself. NECA does a great job with these little accessories, man. I, I don't know how they do it, but they do a great job of uh, just getting all that, that sort of detail in it. It's really, really nice. If you remember the final scene right before he actually blows up the creature, he's going to blow up part of the facility and NECA included that uh, dynamite box or uh, ignition box. And the other thing that's pretty cool is this is functioning. And the other thing that's really cool is that the handle is functioning as well. It does slide up, go down. But the level of detail on this is absolutely nuts, guys. The wood grain, I mean, 
you see the little uh the bolts there look really really nice i love the coloring on that i don't know if the camera picks it up well enough but i mean NECA did a great great job on this up next guys he does come with a really cool flare with i guess smoke and flame effect or flare effect if you want to call it that love the detailing on this looks really really nice on the flare uh this up here i love the mold and i love the coloring that NECA decided to go with it's not like a like a fire but it's more of like i don't know it's just like a pinkish like flame sort of thing i mean it looks really really cool guys i really love the detail on this and the coloring the pink translucent how it gets clearer up here to the top very very solid detail this is one of my favorite accessories on this guys up next guys NECA did include McCready's mm -hmm. awesome sombrero and I have to say I love the detail on this because it's got that frosted look like it's been out in the freezing cold similar to how uh, the figure is uh, throughout the well throughout the figure how it has that frosted wash on him but really really nice bit of a soft plastic really really nice and it has uh, the ribbon here uh, so you can put it around his head with that he also comes with one other head sculpt his uh, angry McCready head sculpt and uh, again amazing likeness that NECA did uh with capturing Kurt Russell's likeness I mean they did an, an amazing bang up job so the hat should just go over the head like this and then you got Mad McCready with his sombrero now for size comparison guys I do want to bring in the survival station McCready uh which is the second release from uh the figures from the McCready figures line and then I also wanted to bring in the San Diego Comic Con 40th anniversary Thing poster figure that was released back a, two years ago uh, love this figure and I just basically wanted to kind of show a comparison between these two as well as the other figure that was released that's a, sort of similar but different uh, as you can see got more stuff going on here uh, but the size comparison is pretty much the same and um, but you can see the difference in the pants how it's like you got the frosted weather there even in the belt everything everything looks a little bit darker like it's worn you know so really really Love the attention to detail that NECA put into this figure as it's been released. So that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the figure here. Of the three here, which is your favorite, which is your least favorite. Uh, also, are you a fan of John Carpenter's The Thing? Let me know in the comments which is your favorite scene from the film and which is your favorite character. Or are you like me and you got to go with the myth, the man, the myth, the legend, McCready. Uh, which is your favorite John Carpenter film? Which is your least favorite John Carpenter film? Let me know in the comments. If you're new to the channel, feel free to like, share, subscribe. If you're not new to the channel, thanks again for coming back and for the continued support, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, just uh, to say, I wanted to review this guy for the 42nd anniversary of The Thing in June. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to because I had a lot of stuff going on. But uh, yeah, so that's why I figured I'd start off July with McCready. So uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the figure and until then we'll see you in the next video guys take it easy and have a good one